Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a haul from Trader Joe's. I haven't been in many, many months. I spent $170, and I was shocked when the cashier gave me the total, but I did pick up some of my favorites, and I also picked up some new items, so let me jump right in. So right back here, I've got some mixed baby kale. I've never seen it before, so I'm excited to try it. It seems like a softer texture, kind of like a spinach texture and not like a hearty kale texture. Um, I also grabbed some of their cut Napa cabbage right here, and this is a one pound bag of that. I grabbed some baby broccoli or broccolini, and I also grabbed a harvest apple salad kit. Now, I normally wouldn't grab something like that because I'm more of a savory person rather than a sweet, but it sounded good and it's seasonal. So you get the spring mix, unexpected cheddar, apple cinnamon chips, and pecans with an apple vinaigrette. And I grabbed some organic um, Tuscan kale. This is a favorite of mine. I like to stir fry it and also use it in soups. I grabbed some basil. This little plant was cheaper than just buying basil. I think it was $2 and something and some change and it comes in a pot and you can add water to it. Um, another favorite of mine is this family style lasagna. Now it will feed four um, comfortably and I love it. It's pretty inexpensive. I think it's like $6.99 or $7.99, but it is so good. It tastes way better than Stouffer's. Another favorite of mine is this chicken fried rice. It is absolutely delicious. A couple of new items that I picked up. This shrimp and garlic flatbread sounded really good to me. And then this chicken breakfast sausage, these patties. These uh, chicken breakfast sausage patties. Um, the cashier, when he was ringing them up, said they were really very good and I made a good choice. I grabbed some Italian parsley just for recipes. And the same thing with this shredded green cabbage. I like to have it on hand for stir fries. And then I've never seen this large bag of Brussels sprouts. We like Brussels sprouts. I like to chop them up and fry them up with bacon. And this is a two pound bag. Another thing that I saw that I've never seen before, and I may have had it, I may just not have seen it, is this sparkling grape juice Chardonnay. Sounded really good. Um, these cheese tortellini are a staple of mine, something I always pick up. I love to make pasta dishes with this. And then this is a new item. I don't know if it's just seasonal or it's gonna be there forever, but this super chocolatey chocolate chunk cookie dough, ready to bake, so it's like a bake and break. And then I was really excited about this all butter sugar cookie dough. I think this might be seasonal, I'm not sure, but I just wanted to grab one. And it's comparable to the Pillsbury in size, 16 ounces. And these, I'm not sure if they're seasonal or if they're permanent, but I grabbed both of them. Hatch chili and jalapeno cheese dip, and then a garlic Asiago cheese dip. They are pretty small containers, 10 ounces. Let me try to show you what they look like. Come in a little tray like that. And um, if you're like me, and are not a fan of mayo, these are not mayo based. They are sour cream and cream cheese based, both of them. So there's no mayo in either one of those. And then this is a new item for me, I've never seen it before, garlic and black pepper almonds. And that sounds really good for a healthy snack. I also grabbed some of their chicken sausage. This is a staple for me. I really like their chicken sausage and it's fully cooked. I like to use it for stir fries and four sheet pan mills. This is all the rage all over social media, this kimbap. Um, the cashier told me that they just got it back in stock. It became really, really popular on social media and they sold out pretty quickly. So they do have a limit of two at my store. I just grabbed one because I'm not sure if we're going to like it, but I just wanted to give it a try. And then I grabbed some of these low sodium roasted salted peanuts. My husband and I both like peanuts a lot. And then this is a favorite of mine. I don't always grab it because of one, 
because one, I don't always have freezer space, but I do like it. Um, this little packet is enough to feed my husband and I. My, my toddler doesn't really like it, but it's good. If you want a quick meal and you just need a, if you have a, if you're making a quick meal during the week, you need a quick side, this is my go-to. I tried these kebabs on, uh, I think it was a, maybe the last Trader Joe's haul um, that I recorded. And these are actually really good. We both like these kebabs and they are beef. They're fully cooked. And I heated mine in the air fryer and they're delicious. Served it with rice. It was so good. This is another staple of mine. Um, this field cheddi with pink sauce. Again, if you don't feel like cooking during the week, this is a really quick weeknight meal as well. So these birds nest. I started off not being a huge fan of them, but they kind of grew on me and I do like them. Um, they are, let me see, they have onions in there. That's like the main ingredient. And then they also have carrots and it kind of reminds me of a lightly battered onion ring. So I like them. Um, they're pretty good. These I'm trying out for the first time. These mini cheeseburgers, you get three of them. And it says uh, fully cooked seasoned ground beef and cheddar cheese on a sweet Hawaiian roll. So just wanted to give it a try. Thought my husband might like something like that. I really like this linguine. Again, quick weeknight dinner. It has, it's meatless. It has pesto and tomatoes and it is absolutely delicious. I grabbed some milk for my toddler. And then I also grabbed these tarts. I grabbed two of them. And we like these for a quick lunch or if we're eating them for dinner, I usually serve them with a salad, but they have ham and um, onions and Gruyere cheese. It's delicious. We're big fans of these soup dumplings too. Now, normally I get pork and chicken, but they didn't have any pork today. So I just grabbed the chicken and then trying out these cheese pastry rolls for the first time. Normally I get the croissants, uh, the frozen croissants, and they are absolutely delicious, but I wanted to give something else to try today. So I'm trying these out. It says four cheese, but I looked at the ingredients and the only cheese that I saw was cream cheese. But anyway, gonna be trying these out. This orange chicken is a staple of mine. And I'm more of a savory girl rather than a sweet girl, as I mentioned earlier. These are savory. Um, so if you don't like sweet like me, you would probably like these because initially I thought these were gonna be really sweet and they're actually not, they're very good. And then I grabbed some Kung Pao chicken. It is really good. If you have people in your family with peanut allergies, do know that these peanuts come separately, so you don't have to mix them with the chicken, and we don't, not because we have a peanut allergy, just because we don't like the peanuts with the chicken. And then I honestly cannot remember if I've tried this rice or not, but it is a spicy Thai shrimp fried rice, so I wanted to give it a try. I got a couple of non-grocery items. Um, I got some of these Thanksgiving cards for Harrison's teachers at school. They always have uh, like teacher's appreciation during that time. So I just grabbed a few cards. And then the last thing that I grabbed was this honey hydration. I've been hearing a lot about this day and night cream. You get a, it has hyaluronic acid and it's uh, like honey scented and honey, let me show you right here. Here are the ingredients on the back. Manuka honey sounded really good so anyway this is everything that i picked up on my trader joe's haul i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel we'd love to have you thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time